Let's talk about painting instructors, coaches, and mentors. Specifically, what makes a good one? And how do you know that you found the perfect person for you? I was having a riding lesson this weekend that actually spoke to this topic a great deal because I'm reaching a point where in my riding, I'm learning things that are entirely new. And for the first time in a long time, I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing, how to know if I'm doing something right, how to plan my rides, and how to know if I did a good job. It's like someone took my entire understanding of this thing that I love doing and turned it completely upside down. I bet you've had similar moments when it comes to painting, or maybe you're going to have similar moments, and I want you to be able to recognize those. So I told one of my coaches about this in my lesson, and this is what she told me. She said, up until now, you've learned to ride one way, and that's great. You could get the horse to look good and have him get through certain movements. Awesome. But now you're at a point where, if you're serious about this, it's time to teach you a more sophisticated way to go about this. And that means throwing a lot out the window. And it's going to feel like you have no idea what's right for a little while. And then you'll start to get the hang of that. And then there will be a new level. And once again, you will feel like you have no idea how to ride. But that's how you get really good. She continued, I know you'd like for me to be able to give you every piece of information right now, but you can't functionally handle all of it because none of us can. So we have to work it one piece at a time and go through stages where the old way of thinking has to be reworked until we eventually reach the point where you do have all of the information. So I came home and was thinking about this today in the context of painting and my students and realized the exact same thing is true here. And I'll break down what I mean. First, a great painting instructor is going to give you what you need right now in order to progress and not feel the need to try and give you all of the information that's in the instructor's head. That would not only make it confusing, it also becomes an exercise in the instructor wanting to impress you with how much knowledge she has. Instead, she's going to focus on figuring out the next piece that you can integrate into your painting practice to move forward to your goal. She then waits for that to become a routine part of your practice and then proceeds to offer the next piece after that. Second, inevitably, you will go through periods where you feel you have a pretty good grasp on things and then will suddenly get feedback that makes you feel like you know nothing or are having to start back at the beginning. And that's okay. So maybe you realize you have to go back to drawing or you need to break away from using things like grids to capture an accurate likeness or you've captured the overall impression of a figure, but you figured out that the anatomy isn't actually holding together. Hopefully your coach can help ground you where you are by giving you the sort of feedback that I just got in this writing lesson, explaining how the old way of doing things made sense for where you were at that moment, and then the reasons why, and then explaining why this next step is necessary to get you to where you want to go. And also explaining that it's normal for it to feel really disorienting and like going back to basics, but reassuring you that the feeling will pass and that this is ultimately going to be a really big step forward in your overall journey. In addition to this, a good coach is there to really understand your goal. And she's going to respect that it's different from her own and help you put together a roadmap toward the place you want to get to. This I actually see quite rarely. Most painting instructors are there to teach you to paint like them because that is what they're comfortable with and that's what they know how to wrap their head around. Um, this is also what we see from ateliers. It's not so much based around one person's approach, but rather a standardized approach that they know how to disseminate to their students. So I want to give you a really important example of what this looks like in practice when you have a really effective teacher who meets you where you are and wants to focus on your goals. 
So a painting coach who is great is always going to ask you about your goals when giving you feedback on a particular painting. So for example, in practice, that means that if an artist wants my feedback on a painting, I ask to see the reference. I ask to see paintings that inspired this particular piece. And I want to hear a summary of the artist's objectives for this painting. With that, I can figure out whether the reference might be in conflict with their goal for the painting. For example, somebody who wants to paint with vivid color, but shows me a reference that might as well be in black and white, there's so little color information. I can tell whether, despite shortcomings in some areas of the painting, the painting still represented a significant breakthrough for that artist. Now, for comparison, imagine an artist comes up to me and simply says, could you give me feedback on this painting? Or perhaps even worse, what do you think of my work? <laughs> the question that pops up for me right away is, compared to what? So the final piece is that a great teacher prioritizes keeping you on the journey. They cannot do the work for you and they can't want it more for yourself than you do, but they can make sure that they tailor their feedback to meet you where you are and help you keep up the momentum. So. If you're feeling really down and confused and need a win, that isn't going to be a day for tough love. They're going to stay away from something that may be discouraging and instead prioritize talking about what can build some positive momentum and restabilize your relationship with your painting practice. If you want help on that path, I do have limited slots to speak with artists who are serious and interested in working with me, which I will link below along with a link to view this piece and all of my available work. I hope this video has shown you exactly what to look for in a painting mentor. And if you want that mentor to be me, I would love to hear from you. Just use the link in the description to reach out. All right, until next time, happy painting.